Who wakes up with fresh smelling breath? You do? <laughs> you, for real? I don't buy it. I don't know anybody who wakes up with fresh breath. Most of us need to brush our teeth, maybe we even gargle. But if you exercise to lower your blood pressure, could that tingling antiseptic mouthwash wipe out the benefits of your workout? What am I talking about? Let's delve into this. Joining us via Skype is biochemist Dr. Nathan Bryan. Welcome, Dr. Bryan. Welcome, Dr. Bryan. Thank so you. So break this down for us scientifically. Well, this story is all about nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is produced in the lining of the blood vessels, and it regulates blood flow. And so one of the benefits of exercise is that it promotes nitric oxide production, and it leads to lower blood pressure. But now what we're finding is that there are bacteria that live in our mouth that produce this gas that regulates blood pressure. And if you take antiseptic mouthwash and kill the good bacteria, you basically lose the benefits of exercise. In your opinion, should people stop using these antiseptic mouthwashes? Well, I think there's consequences to this, and people have to look at things from a risk-benefit spectrum. And I think the evidence that's emerging from this is if you're disrupting the good bacteria that are producing an essential molecule called nitric oxide, then this is not a good thing. You need nitric oxide to maintain normal blood pressure. Is there's bacteria that reduce nitrate to a molecule called nitrite. When you swallow your saliva, this generates nitric oxide gas, and this actually dilates blood vessels and normalizes blood pressure and basically regulates blood flow to every cell and every tissue in the body. So taking mouthwash that disrupts this is not a good thing. So I think if you're just taking mouthwash to freshen up your breath and you don't have any oral infections or dental issues, then I think the risks certainly outweigh the benefits from that. So people need to take caution. Dr. Brian, we know that there are bad bacteria in our mouth as well that cause periodontal disease. So is what you're saying the benefits of the mouthwash probably outweigh the risks? Yeah, but I think the, the dentist or the healthcare practitioner has to realize the consequences of that. I mean, we have an epidemic of high blood pressure. Two out of three people in America have an elevation in blood pressure, which is, as you mentioned, the number one modifiable risk factor for heart attack and stroke. So if we can normalize blood pressure, and there's this phenomenon called resistant hypertension that people don't respond to antihypertensive medications. So it could be an oral dysbiosis. Over 200 million Americans wake up every morning and use mouthwash. And we've published studies showing that if you use mouthwash, your blood pressure goes up, you stop using mouthwash, the blood pressure normalizes. So I think, again, you have to, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this it should be a topic of to discussion. The... Well, and, and, and I will openly admit that if you go to talk to your doctor, doctor or even dentist about this, there's a good chance they won't know what you're talking about. That's just the, the God's honest truth here. But if you do suffer from high blood pressure and your medicines are not working, you've tried everything, I think this is certainly something to consider. And I think it also highlights something else. We know that good oral hygiene is important for good overall health. <laughs> but there's also too much of a good thing. I see some people, they're brushing their teeth 10 times a day and they're gargling 10 times a day. It's all balance. The, balance the microbiome, balance the oral bacteria, the good, the bad. And so, uh, again, what I'll say in my own life, I used to use the mouthwash in the morning and at night. And I've made the decision for me, I'm only using it in the morning now, maybe, but I don't have high blood pressure. Right, and you So I, that's my so choice. And, 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 but you should, you should ask yourself, okay, am I using too much? And if so, go talk to your dentist. Do I have periodontal disease? Talk to your doctor. Do I have high blood pressure? Who knew we had to put this much thought into what we're gargling? Well, actually, I was just very quickly thinking, Dr. Bryan, if you could even comment on gum and kind of mints and how these all play into this discussion. With the xylitol, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, most of the efforts have been focused on the uh, gut microbiome. Very few people, I mean, we're one of the very few people who focused on the oral microbiome. And the, the answer to your question is we don't know. There's so much that we don't know. But what's clear is an antiseptic mouthwash kills the bad guys, also kills the good guys, and the results are pretty dramatic in terms of an increase in blood pressure. So I think you have to uh, ask yourself these fundamental questions. I think the evidence is clear. And if you don't have a reason for using mouthwash with an active oral infection or periodontal disease, then you shouldn't use it. For me and my family, we don't use mouthwash at all. We brush our teeth, brush our tongue, brush our gums, um, and that's sufficient. Yeah. Well, Dr. Brian, we certainly yeah, appreciate you enlightening us. Uh, keep up the great work. Let us know if you find Thank anything you. new. This is fascinating. I will. Obviously, talk to your doctor before you change your regimen, figure out what's best for you.